we have six weeks to build our robot. So for those six weeks, we pretty much live at school. Everybody is so committed to seeing this robot go from on the drawing board to this six foot tall, 120 pound robot competing out on the field against one another. You're really a small robotics manufacturing company. You can see the hard part. The fun part really comes from everybody working on it together and making it a social experience. That was what really sparked me in the beginning. You can go into it saying, you know, I might be on a robotics team, but I really enjoy writing. You get to do what you're passionate about. Well, you learn so much more because, you know, you're all there together. You're all working and you're accomplishing something. And that makes it really fun. It's the hardest fun you will ever have. It's bringing your own ideas to life. But everybody has their own different ideas with any engineering project. You have to give your idea, your idea and design out there and just let it take the hit and then see where it leads. Granted, not every single design is going to make it, but you want to try and look at every single possibility before coming up with the final drawing. Engineering is solving problems. And I think that you end up looking at the world that way. You see things that you'd like to change and you address it as a problem. You work through it. There's certain times when, yes, you can conquer engineering problems without thinking, just coming up with simple answers, but there's also times when you are looking at a certain problem and you're staring at it for hours and you still can't come up with the right answer. You can just get so wrapped up into it that it just consumes you. You really don't notice when you're here for two days straight and you don't get sleep because you're working on finishing the robot or memorizing that last speech. Even with our mentors, it's all they think about. They've just practiced enough to the point where it does almost come naturally to them. And it's really neat to see, and it's really neat to be a part of it, too. For me, I never thought about being an engineer. I'm not sure if I would say it comes naturally, but it becomes something that you're so proud of. You think these things over thoroughly, and you really try to plan things out as much as possible. I mean, you go home, even after you finally have left the robot or whatever engineering project you're working on, and you're still thinking about it, you're going to bed, and that's the last thing you think about when you sleep.